my name is Ariel King. I graduated uh, last last year. What would that be? June, May. <laughs> um, and I did my MA in international relations and foreign policy. Yeah. So for my undergrad, I also did foreign policy and international relations um, and diplomacy. So when I was looking for a university to go to, I always knew I was going to do my master's, but I wasn't sure where. Um, took a bit of time off after I did my undergrad, and then finally sort of made the jump and was like, just go, just do it. So I finally came, uh, chose London because it was a very international city to start with. Um, chose Westminster because they had the media and uh, international relations studies, and that's sort of what, I, what I'm most interested in. Um, I did my dissertation on social media and how it's used for um, elections and uh, foreign policy and things. So I used a lot of that and that sort of brought me to where I am in my career, which is now uh, working in a social media agency and uh, I'm the voice of a lot of brands actually. So that's my idea. Great. Yeah. <laughs> A bit of it sort of happened uh, by luck almost. Like, um, I think the idea of talking, just getting out there and networking with people is almost forgotten sometimes. Everyone thinks that it's just easier to you know, look up online or send out 100 resumes or whatever. But actually what happened for me was I went to a, um, a talk at LSE. It was through the BBC and uh, found out through it through Westminster. Um, I went to this talk, they were talking about how social media is used and everything and, and policy and, and journalism and met someone there who actually works for one of the sister agencies that is part of the agency I work for now. Got an internship and then got a job afterwards. It is quite hard out there, but I think if you, if you just don't limit yourself to what career path you can have, I think it's a lot easier to, to take what it is that you've learned and make it work for anything else. Yeah. Because it's such a broad topic, you don't have to just work for the UN, or you don't just have to work for a think tank. You can take all those skills and make it work for something else. And I think a lot of international relations is about communication, and I've used a lot of that in basically talking as a UK brand to other UK consumers. Coming from an undergrad background in IR already, I'm not sure if it, it changed it so much. Um, might have continued to grow what I, already, what I already knew. I've always been really interested in other cultures and other languages. Um, I studied Chinese actually while I was here in Mandarin. Um, studied French during my undergrad. So I think it, it keeps you aware of what's going on in the world. Um, my, the way that I used uh, my dissertation was the, uh, the events that happened in Iran during the elections. I um, thought that was a really big breakthrough for social media in general. Um, so I think IR, it, it, it helps you to, to stay on top of what's, like current events almost when you were a kid and you had to do current events and news clippings out of the paper and talk about that. I feel like that's a lot of what you study, it's just knowing what's happening in the world and continuing to apply it as it changes. people skills, you definitely come from an integrated background when you go to Westminster. Um, I think I've met more friends from more countries than I ever had since before. And I mean, all of those friends have gone off to back to their home countries, but it's like I've always got somewhere in a network to go see someone regardless of what continent I'm on. Um, and I think learning about other people's cultures and the way that they interact with each other, that sort of helped me to change how I, how I copyright different things and work. Um, you sort of know how to talk to people in different ways and in different settings. And yeah, I think meeting people from a lot of different backgrounds here at Westminster helps you with that. Yeah. As far as the curriculum, I think I expected it to be uh, a bit more like how it is in the States, a lot more tests and a bit how it is for undergrads here, but I liked that it was, it was open, it was almost more of a think for yourself kind of thing. You did a lot of essays and a lot of writing and that gave you the opportunity to sort of grow what it is that you actually think and not just memorize out of a book. I think having uh, the different types of courses that you can take here makes you stand out because I've always been, been a fan of integration in general and um, mostly coming from a, a well-developed background. And so, you know, if you, if you only study 
don't know if you only studied science or something and you only know how to do numbers, but you don't know anything about natural history or you don't know anything about biology in a different way, um, it sort of limits you. And so I liked that I was able to integrate the different things that I, that I learned here with the media course and um, with the Europeanization courses, that was pretty good. Um, because you would, you would think you'd just focus on one country or just focus on one type of thing. Um, so I like that there's, there's different things in the background that you can bring in. Yeah.